Welcome back into the better half hour. Do we have a special treat for you? My favorite segment where we bring you veterans in the sports betting space. My man, all the way across the pond in England, Nigel Seeley, the ambassador for Bet Rivers, joining us again on the show. Nigel, great to see you, my friend. How are you? I'm very well, Alex. Good to see you. Full of energy. Looking for the head to the Champions League game. We're going to get some cash, some tickets, and make some money. Absolutely. Let's start out, Nigel. We are in the second leg here of the round of 16. What's been the biggest surprise you've seen from a betting perspective thus far in the tournament? To be honest with you, a lot of the favourites have won. A lot of the favourites of the tournament have gone through. There hasn't really been many shocks. Probably the biggest shock would be that Barcelona, the very famous team in Spain, have gone out of the competition. Uh, but all the other main contenders have gone through. It's been a take. It's been a tournament for favourites. So not really, not many shocks at all. But uh, Barcelona losing, but they had a really, really difficult draw, really different se segment in the in the competition. And uh, they've gone out. But really, it's been a tournament for favorite bettors, and favorite bettors have been making the money. I want to talk about Bayern Munich going against Salzburg. It is a draw right now as far as the first leg goes. You saw Bayern over the weekend catch another draw. What is your lean in this match going into the second leg? I think Bayern Munich, uh, despite what the bookmakers think, are the, probably the most likely winners of this year's Champions League. I really like Bayern Munich. I think they've got a fantastic scene. I think they're the best centre forward, best striker in the world, in Robert Lewandowski. I think they're a side that are really underrated. They can afford to lose points coming into the Champions League because they're eight points clear at the top of the Bundesliga table. Uh, the one thing about Bayern Munich, they can see goals. And uh, in six of their last seven games, they've conceded goals. But in 34 matches this season, they've failed to score in just one game. So this game here screams goals. Uh, the first leg was 1-1, like you said. Uh, Salzburg had some COVID cases. So I think that uh, Bayern Munich are a very heavy favourite, justifiably so. But I think there's goals in this game. This three, these two sides have met three times in the Champions League. In every single time, both teams have scored as a yes. It was 6-3 last season and 3-1 last season and 1-1 one, one this season as well in the return leg. So I think both teams have scored yes is a much better play than over the total goals. Usually in soccer games, over total goals is 2.5. On this occasion, it's 3.5. I think it's a very, very big move for me. I like that. At the same price, both teams have scored or over three and a half goals at about minus 130. I'll go for both teams to score, yes. That's some great insight there, Nigel. All right, let's switch to a little Serie A versus Premier League. Liverpool up 2-0. They've been playing phenomenal football as of late. When you go into this match and you have a two-road goal lead here coming back at Anfield, what's your takeaway on this one? Do you think Inter can get back into it, or do you think Liverpool will be playing this very wisely, almost conservatively, defensively, and it'll be tough for them to get back in. I think the two things you've got to look at is both sides are involved in a domestic Champions League, a Champions race. So, like, uh, Inter Milan are involved looking to win Serie A, their domestic title. They're involved with AC Milan and Napoli, so it's very, very close. Three-team race there. And Liverpool are really, really closing the gap on Manchester City. So I think team selection is going to be very, very important for this game. The one thing I would say to you is Liverpool have been on this unbelievable winning run. I think they've won, I think it's like a 12 games straight now. They've won, if you count the, the cup game where they drew in extra, it, 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 after extra time. But the most pleasing thing for the manager, Jurgen Klopp, is that Liverpool have kept six clean sheets in the last seven games, which means six shutouts. They haven't let a goal in. Uh, Inter Milan, They've been involved in the last five matches. They've failed to score in four of them, and they've kept shutouts in three of the last four games. I think under goals is the way here. I think Liverpool will win the game. I saw odds around minus 150, minus 180 with some bookmakers on Liverpool to win the game. I think if you can bet Liverpool to win to nil, it's the best bet. And if you can't get that option, bet Liverpool to win 2 nil or 1 nil. Liverpool's last two home games in the Champions League have been against Atletico Madrid and Porto, and both games have been 2-0 wins. I expect Liverpool to be too strong because 
Inter have a domestic title race to go for. And I think that uh, 2-0 up, I think they might take their foot off the gas and just win 1 or 2 nil. So I think 1-0 is about $7 and 2 nils are about seven fifty. dollars the kind of price I like. Looking at Man City versus Lipson, Nigel, a 5 nil first legs, minus 700 right now on DraftKings for us here. If you're looking at this match, is there any value in any kind of bet here, first half result, any kind of prop per chance that you are looking at? Of course, City running away with it, looking great yesterday, of course, against Man United. I think the thing is, when you you could mention City minus seven dollars, why would they need to, to put out a good team? Why would they need to uh, to go out all out for the win? It doesn't. The game is is over. The tie is over. So if you're betting minus seven dollars on Manchester City, I think you're 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 a bit crazy, a bit loopy. Um, I wouldn't bet them at minus seven. They they may win, but they could rest. They could put out a load of chill kids. They could put out a load of. Uh, fringe players, they could they could rest all their big players. Manchester City have got a title race in England against Liverpool in the top of the Premier League. They've got three games on the road, big game of the weekend against Crystal Palace. That is the priority rather than this game. They're five nil up. And Sporting Lisbon though, unfortunately Sporting Lisbon, I can't make a case of Sporting Lisbon because Sporting Lisbon have only won one of their last six games. They can't win their title in Portugal. They're out of the cup competition and they're a side just sort of fizzling along towards the end of the season. I think this is going to be Manchester City reserves against Sporting Lisbon reserves, and obviously Manchester City reserves are better. But the one bet I would have here, I think go under on the bookings. I think that uh, when a game is 5-0 up from the first leg, then the intensity, the levels, the, you know, the high press, you know, tackles flying in. Man City know they're going to win this game. Sporting Lisbon know they've got, they can't qualify. So we're going to see a game that really just becomes a little bit of a testimonial, something that really doesn't give any interest. Tackles won't be going in. So I think if you get a prop here on the under of the bookings, under two and a half, under three and a half bookings, yellow cards, red cards, I think this will just be played out as a friendly atmosphere because there's no nothing at stake. Man City are through to the quarterfinals and Sport and Lisbon have uh, got nothing to play for at all. All right, Nigel, I'll get you out of here with this. Probably the most highly anticipated matchup of this particular day of matches. You got PSG going against Real Madrid. PSG with a late result with Mbappe. Bitter end, really. Both teams plus money here. How are you looking at this one? Real coming off a nice win over the weekend. PSG not so much losing to Nice. Listen, I'll tell you one thing about this game. It's going to be close. It's going to be every, both sides will think they've got a chance to win this game, and both sides will think they've got a chance to win the Champions League. This game, unlike the game I spoke about, it's all going to be about cards. Red cards, yellow cards. I think goals are going to be low. I think under two and a half goals, and maybe even the sending off a red card in the game. All right, there you have it. Nigel Seeley, always bringing the value. Thank you so much for spending some time with us here on the Better Half Hour. Don't go anywhere. We're looking at trends for tonight's NBA games coming up next. 